This guy's gonna cut me off. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Come on, do it. Do it. I dare ya. Oh, come on. Do it. Do it. Alright, I'm pulling him over anyway. Whoa! No! Uh, anyway. Hi! So, call out interface. Going pretty well. Hope to get something out this weekend. Um, probably a bit off a little bit more than I can chew. Uh, trying to get as much in there as I could instead of making small upgrades. So, let me uh, show you where we're at with it. So, notice that uh, I don't have the display up right now, but if I bring up the menu, um, go to configure settings and click on MDT, boom, it pops up. I noticed that people on uh, YouTube videos were trying to look at it, but if they didn't have it up, um, you couldn't see it, so they couldn't decide which one they wanted to pick. Um, it has been designed now, so it's it's fully movable. Uh, so you can move it wherever you want to on screen, and it is now scalable, so you can make it smaller and bigger. And then uh, it is customizable to the point where you can even have a different aspect ratio. So um, here's an example of, notice this one's narrower. Um, you can specify the text positioning however you want. So uh, yeah, so that's good. Um, something else people wanted was to have it show up only in the vehicle. So let me uh, toggle it there and get it out of the vehicle and it should shut off. So that was step one was, was making it more customizable for people. Um, the other one was try to get a little bit, a little bit more better detail to it, a little more interesting things. Unfortunately, I am limited by what the callout developers are willing to put in there. Now, I did create an API. It'll be in this version. So if callout developers wanted to start sending data to it, um, they'll be able to. And I've been working with a couple callout pack developers, uh, Charlie686 and Super Pyromaniac. I'm hoping to see some um, coordination on that uh, soon. So... Um, let me show you here what uh, kind of what it looks like um, with an example call out. So you can see there's uh, there's data put in there, um, including a priority and agency if it's supported by um, the uh, call out makers. And if you accept a call out, it'll attach you to it. And then show me code for. Now, one of the things I've been working on is making it so that these incidents uh, don't necessarily close if you don't accept them. Uh, I wanted to be able to look into the future. It'd be nice to have like a, a call log list. What is this guy doing? Oh, we just move him off the road. I wanted to, uh... oh wow, there you go. I want it. Everyone stopped. Why is everyone stopped? Oh, you fucker. So I wanted a, uh, like a list of callouts that you could then like go back and pick old ones. So that's not in this update, but the potential for it is. So that's kind of that's kind of what's been going on. But so if you just ignore a callout, kind of like let it just. Uh... All units, now, I don't have the automatic ignore enabled, so um, nothing's going to happen. It'll just kind of disappear. And the idea would be that it would be nice if later, if you wanted to go do that call out, it would still be accessible from a from like a log or something. Um, however, uh, let's say you have a... All units, we've got an 11351 in Santiago. So let's say you've got a, a you know, you want to explicitly ignore a call out, like over a certain distance. Um, so we'll turn this on and make it like really close. You'll see that another unit will take it. Uh, hopefully it should work. Attention all units, units respond code two. Charlie four, roger that. We're in the area. So there you go, it's even got the actual unit and with the audio and it's got like four or five different 
units in there. So uh, a lot of Call of developers do this thing where if you don't accept it, they play the audio. And there's no way for me to stop that. So not perfect, but uh, it's getting there. So I hope that uh, when I'm able to release this. Oh, I got. Whoops. All right. So have a nice, uh, have a nice rest of your week.